now is lawyer Ganifani to talk about uh, this uh, developing story. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you for joining us at this time. It's my pleasure. Uh, well, talking about the release of um, Elsa Zaki and the wife now uh, to India, what for you is key as a lawyer? Well, to start with, as a Nigerian, as a human being, I'm first, of, first and foremost, I'm ashamed of the medical uh, limitations of this country. We were told that uh, pre and post independence uh, of, uh, of this country in 1960, most of these countries we are talking about were coming to Nigeria to come and receive medical treatment. Now we cannot assure and guarantee uh, treatment of patients. Well, that is just by the way. The other issue that affects the law itself is the fact that um, I'm a swig that's a lawyer and that's a law abiding person mm. because to start with, I am apprehensive with the executive recklessness and the rascality that followed uh, the review of the order of court uh, when it was allowed to travel. I think it's a travesty of justice uh, when a governor seizes the judiciary by the jugular, constituted himself to a kind of appellate jurisdiction to review court orders. It is never done. Bringing out its own list of conditions. Exactly. Does I it appear that those conditions were followed before uh, this couple traveled? It couldn't have been followed. I think uh, there must have been a lot of a lot of issues that are not known to us that might have happened behind the scene. Uh, because um, it is frightening to me that uh, the judiciary could be made to be comatose and toothless. Because to start with, when you look at the conditions, because it's within the discretion of the court, when you look at the list of the conditions to be met, in fact, I was expecting probably they would say the IG should relocate to India. Within. Talking about the Kaduna State Government. And I is this so because it was the Kaduna State High Court that was prosecuting the Sheikh and the wife? Of course, on the orders, quote and unquote, of the uh, Kaduna State Government. Hence, the government now went on to now list its own conditions. What I'm saying is that there are three arms of government. Absolutely. It is already, we all know it. Uh, and no arm of that government has a right to overhaul the other ones. Because as it is, uh, the back of the judiciary was uh, put to the wall. Mm. Uh, it, it was made to be a toothless organ of government and mm. a pillar of, of uh, democracy, which you call a rule of law, mm. is, uh, it was seriously assaulted by the fact that a governor uh, could be reviewing the other of a of a of a of court a, of, of, a a judge. of a judge yes right. so that is uh, what was frightening to us All because right. it only happens when you have military regimes okay. not when we have a government that um, is a constitutional one like the ones we, we are practicing now a, a lot of nigerians have uh, a suspicion here or, or skepticism or cynicism one way or the other on uh, is exactly traveling abroad or oh, India. What are, what are really the fears? Are there any, should there be any fears of any kind? Ordinarily, there should not be any fear. Ordinarily? Ordinarily. Okay. But um, people are already having a perception of a religious warlord hmm. that might likely be displacing the Boko Haram. Uh, that is an issue. That is making people to be apprehensive. Uh, I want to talk also about our health system. Because that you have to embark on a medical tourism to India uh, is a slap. Mm. It's an Nigeria. indictment on Nigeria. An indictment, really, okay. to start with. But then coming again to the issue of law, because the, the democracy we are practicing uh, has the rule of law as part of its um, pillars. It must all be hard that a competent court grants another, and somebody stays somewhere and be manipulating it. It amounts to recklessness, H rascality, yeah. and um, an assault. 
So how, how valid are the conditions given by the Kaduna State Government? Because the point there is that in as much as they are not a court, but it's still, it's still a government. Notwithstanding, there are three arms of government known okay. to everybody. All right. It is called executive rascality, execu executive recklessness. Mm. For anybody to constitute himself in an appellate jurisdiction and say, look, that decision I will not accept. But besides it being um, uh, against what the, the, the court had come up with as a kid, those conditions, are they things that government in itself should take cognizance of as a government, not necessarily as part of uh, the court uh, uh, ruling? The court must, or rather the government hmm. represented by the executive must set good example All right. for you and I, and members of the public that when an order of court is made, you don't constitute yourself and say, look, I don't like it, or I, don't li I like or I don't like it. No. Or, or amend them. Mm -mm, you cannot. Okay. Otherwise, you are inviting anarchy. In the eyes of the law, yes. can Azakzaki seek asylum in India if he goes there? Uh, I don't know what the rules as far as asylum is concerned. Right. But you see, what will appear to me on the long run is that what, what if this man decides not to be well for the next one year? Exactly. <laughs> so maybe the IG will have to relocate to India and be overlooking whether El Zaki would run away or not. I see all these things as a kind of intimidation of the judiciary to have gone as far. In fact, I was expecting that the presidential get should be made available so that um, the man will not uh, run anywhere and all that. these things shouldn't be, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. You will now discover that having left the man to go on this trip, there will be peace in Kaduna all over. If you had adopted this system all along, the kind of importance we have attached to mm. him would have disappeared. All right. Now, I, I, the, there was no, should, or could there have been a time frame that uh, the court should have uh, attached to this medical <laughs> trip. Although, you cannot, you cannot tell in advance when someone is going to be okay or not okay. But the point there is that he is going to seek medical attention and he, there is a case back, in, back at home that he has to come and face. C could there have been a maximum time that uh, he should have been uh, certified okay? Let me ask you, what if this man is dead? What happens to this uh, matter? It is the person that is alive that can stand trial. So, Nobody, nobody can determine. Yeah. You see, I know that the judiciary is intimidated, and which is very unfortunate. That is why the judiciary, the presiding judge, went as far to convince that I'm not culpable. Otherwise, he doesn't need to be at that draconian. But it's obvious to anybody who is an observer, particularly a legally minded person, that these are unusual orders. So it is a... Uh, it's very unfortunate anyway, right. and it's an assault on our judicial system. Well, joining uh, me now on, on the program to discuss uh, this developing story and explain to us uh, further uh, what's going on legally is Gani Faniyi. Thank you very much uh, for joining us on the program this morning. And Barka Desala to you. Good, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Same to you. Good morning. Thank yes. you. All right, but talking about this move to... India. There had been a lot of concern about the state of health of the El Zakzakis. Now they've gone. We've seen, we, we saw the, the mask over his mouth. Uh, we also understand that uh, 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 Zenat is in a wheelchair. But now that they've traveled, won't this expose the country to an international spotlight on our, the conditions of human rights in the country uh, and may also make the national uh, concern over them traveling, overreading, so to speak? Well, we ask for it as a nation, and we must be ready for the consequences. Because uh, some of these things could have been done, as far as I'm concerned. If you had been released earlier, some of these treatments would have been taken, would have been taken care of. And then the kind of um, publicity that attended to a series of protests and all that probably would not have um, uh, been allowed. But thank God for the triumph of the judicial system, the rule of law. Because I was apprehensive when the Kaduna state governor started to reel out uh, conditions. 
and I was frightened whether he has now started to sit over uh, the decision of the High Court in an appellate jurisdiction, because that's the only thing we know as lawyers. Mm. That you can't just stay in your room and say, look, I'm reviewing because I'm the governor or what have you. It is anarchy All right. and um, it is unknown to the rule of law. Mm. Talking about the issue of the rule of law, the, the government have come under very intense criticism in the past, but now that uh, the court order has been respected and they have traveled abroad, uh, what does this mean for the rule of law now? Has the court been redeemed? Has, is there a redemption situation here? No, I, I doubt it. I believe probably there had been a lot of other ground uh, movements behind the scene the government is not pleased that the man is living after all, as far as I'm concerned. But they had no choice then. Of course, that's what I'm saying. They are, they are, their backs seem to be against the wall. And there was no way it could be explained that this man would die in our custody. And because, um, because of our negligence to start with. Mm. So as far as I'm concerned, um, we need to really get our ass together whether we want to practice democracy or not. Because the important aspect, there are three arms of government Absolutely. that is known elementarily. Uh, and so the one arm cannot take over <clears throat> and say, look, I won't accept. I will take over the judiciary. I would, I would enter the National Assembly as a rubber stamp. And right. the government not even having a choice. Uh, is this the norm in all cases, especially when you weigh it against security concerns, national security concerns? I mean, look at the case of, um, of um, Colonel Dasuki as well. Uh, that is also... Uh, still a sore point uh, for many Nigerians in, in the country. What do you uh, foresee now? It's nebulous to us when you talk of national security. It's amorphous. Anybody could just stay behind this and now start to do things that are unlawful, unconstitutional. So I am surprised that you will refuse to, to obey court orders. Because once you do that, the signal is that you are signaling for, for anarchy. You are asking me that uh, if there's a judgment against me, I should also resist it because the government is not setting good example. If my landlord quits me, I say, look, no, I'm going to look for area boys. I say, look, I want to review the, the decision too. <laughs> That's the example that is simple that we are right. the members of the problem. Now, as, we, as we wind down now, uh, considering the relations between Nigeria and, and India, what kind of assistance will Will, or cooperation, will Nigeria be expecting from the government of India on this issue? In respect of, um, of the treatment. Exactly. exactly. They have their hospital, very good standard. We have almost demobilized our own care. They will pay them. We, we'll be very sure about that. It's not charity. So you are bringing business to them. You are popularizing because I know a lot of persons opt to go to India for the slightest. Once you have money, you say you are going to India. For anything that, even if it's headache, you have now further uh, endorsed it that, yes, India has the best. So uh, it is, the economy is okay. All other diplomatic relationships, they remain in place. Even without the retinue of uh, a security men following him, I know he cannot escape from the place. He Based cannot. on mutual uh, understanding, yes. Nigeria-India right. relations. That's what happens. You don't need to take a governor or the IG to India. To go, on. they will get him, and we're right. returning. We, we have to, we have to leave you here now, uh, Gani Fani. Thank you so much for giving us insight into this. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Mm. Thank you very much.